somebody stole your Twitter handle, huh? <laughs> I fucking hate that. That's backwards. <laughs> yeah, one guy. It one one guy from eight years ago decided randomly to make that name, and then, and I and never tweeted again. And now I have to live with that. <laughs> he hasn't tweeted in eight years. Yeah, and no, he hasn't tweeted at all. He made the account eight years ago, and his only followers all follow me too. <laughs> so <laughs> great. <laughs> Just oh uh, god. All right, we are now live, so let's see how long it takes for anybody to show up in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll tweet something out, too. So, you know, ten more people. <laughs> yeah. Ten more people will will join eventually. Hey, maybe. That, that'll be 10% of the total listenership. That's a huge number. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a big get. <laughs> Where the hell is Sheep over to tell me how the audio quality is? This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Where the fuck is everybody? Now I'm just going to see if I can just copy. I'm just going to steal your link here and just sort of add that in to my tweet. <laughs> uh. Better disable all of the, the loud, annoying donation things now before I forget. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. No, because <laughs> these people, they'll, they'll donate three bits just to have a sound effect to ruin an episode of Is It Gino? <laughs> no, no I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting no. to turn them off before the show. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, couldn't that drive donations? <laughs> yeah, come ruin my show. It's cheap. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Nobody's uh, here in the chat yet? That's absurd. Uh well, I mean, you don't, you're not exactly working with star power right now. <laughs> it's not a show where you've got Daft Pina in here, you know. Listen, huge, it's, it's huge Friday celebrity. night. These people, I know they have no lives. This is all they have is waiting for me to Twitch stream. They should all be here as soon as I click that button. These people are, they're pathetic. Thank God we haven't started streaming yet so they can't hear me say all this stuff. But man, I, I really loathe my, my Twitch chat. Like every single person who shows up in the chat, <laughs> like I really just dislike a lot. <laughs> there's there's no redeemable thing about any of them, really. <laughs> At least they're so I assume they're probably that same minority who keep commenting calling you lazy recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave it to uh, a minority to call me lazy. <laughs> ah, really, really uh, flipping the script on that one, you minorities. Uh, bitch, I pay your bills. Fuck off, animated demon. <laughs> All right, uh, where the fuck is Sheep? She needs to tell me if I need to turn Jargon up or down in his audio. Here, Jargon, say something so people can tell me if you're too loud or too quiet. Um, 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> I mean, they were inside the plane when it happened, I guess so. Well, actually, it couldn't have been because the plane came from the outside, but whatever. <laughs> That's an overused joke. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you can... <laughs> what you're gonna expect from having me live i'm not oh, exactly perfect. good under pressure <laughs> i don't i've seen you on omegle you do a lot of stuff under pressure <laughs> uh, yeah. that's, the com that's a completely different kind of pressure <laughs> yeah i guess so inside uh, blowjob okay it sounds fine he's a bit quiet so dicks in that video sheep over where the fuck have you been T i only trust you to tell me how the audio levels are sheep where the fuck have you been Turn jargon all the way down so the interview show is just you talking to no one. Okay. <laughs> It'd get more views that way. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I get... You thought it wasn't live? Why the... When has this show ever not been live, sheep? I should interview myself. That'd be funny. <laughs> you practically are right now, though. <laughs> so what, what's this uh, What's this rumor I've heard, Mr. Monkey Jones? That uh, you, uh, you had some gay experiences... In eighth grade, a, a camp, summer camp. Oh, yes, uh, I'm surprised you heard about that. Yeah, it's it's completely true. It all started one a brisk s Sunday evening. There was we, a the flamboyant ca camp counselor was just, he gave me that look, you know. I just, <laughs> I, I mean, wh who couldn't deny that? Nah, I mean, it, it helped that uh, he was my uncle, so I already had, uh, you know, you experience. Already had, you had one to keep it in the family, you know. That's right. I already knew how big his cock was, so there were no surprises that night. Yeah. No surprise. 
You want to know exactly how many inches you're going to have inside when you're when you're done. <laughs> yeah, I want to know if I can handle it. <laughs> Got to make sure. All right, I, we, we've got some people here now. I'm going to start recording. Start recording. Okay. Okay. What's up, Carson Geek in the chat? She's excited to see you, Jargon. She said your name in all caps. JARGON! <laughs> or perhaps she's just a fan of literature with words that are of a certain meaning, folks! I'm, jargon! I'm just, you're one of like the, the the five people who knew what who know what who knows what jargon means then. Oh, uh, do they think you invented the word for your character? I mean, I don't, I don't think so, but no one's, no one said exactly, <laughs> no one's exactly brought it up. It is a bit of a nonsensical username, but I guess we could talk about that once we get into the show. Because it's not really uh, a yeah. name, it's like, you're saying this is just jargon, and I'm like, wait, what is the, the content, the person, and that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, like. <laughs> it fits perfectly with my videos, honestly. Well, well I guess we'll find uh, out. Okay, folks, folks at home. <laughs> Hope you're ready on this uh, this Friday night. Is it Friday night? Is tomorrow Saturday 4:20, baby? Smoke up, Ooh. folks. You you excited to smoke up jargon? Oh uh, yeah, I'll just have to. My I can legit, I could pawn some off my sister. Oh perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's get started. Not then. even a joke. I'm going <laughs> to uh, I'm gonna do the formal intro of this show after I take a big old swig of water. Ah. Uh, okay, you ready? I'm, I'll try. I'll, I'll try to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to your favorite monkey-based interview radio internet program. That's right. It's back with a vengeance. The one and only Monkey Jonas, Monkey Jones interview show. Today, unfortunately, folks, I know I promised Drake Bell again. He's flaking out again. Drake Bell said... He'll make it next time, no matter what, no more excuses, and he offered to let me interview his cousin, Just Jargon, instead. It's very convenient, because I was planning on interviewing Just Jargon anyway, so really, it, it all worked wine, out. You know? <laughs> so, J Just Jargon, I guess my opening question is, how does it feel, how did it feel growing up in the shadow of your cousin, Drake Bell? Well, I mean, I, I turned on Nickelodeon, and he was just there, and all my friends were just telling me, hey, let's watch Drake, and I'm just like, I just, guys, I see him all the time. Can we just not? Just, like, when you, when you go to, something else. were Thanksgivings and Christmases where your families came together, is his actual life pretty much like the scripted sitcom, Drake and Josh, where he's getting into 20-minute yeah, long wacky shenanigans? Yeah, down to the sound effects and everything. <laughs> down to the sound effects and everything. <laughs> that sounds wild. Is that how you got your start in, in show business? You wanted to follow in his footsteps? Uh, I, I mean, I probably, I mean, I, I, I did, I wanted to be as far away as possible. So I thought, hey, why don't I make reviews and make myself so infamous that maybe there's a chance that people will give him, like, <laughs> maybe it'll rub off on him. Well, And then may, maybe I can, you know, become... I don't know. It's how, how the tables have turned, Just Jargon, because as far as I'm aware, you are in control of a YouTube channel that has more subs than any YouTube channel that Drake Bell himself has control over. As you may recall, he recently accidentally handed out his YouTube password to a young fan who then <laughs> hacked and stole his channel and YouTube uh, he, uh, Drake Bell had a public meltdown on on Twitter, calling out YouTube to fix it, and YouTube said no. Well, sounds like a typical Thanksgiving, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we gotta work no. this into a twenty-minute wacky shenanigan with plenty of commercial breaks in there. <laughs> uh. All right, Just Jargon. If people tuning in for the first time to the Just Jargon show, I assume this is what that is now. Just Jargon, <laughs> what, what are you? Where are you online? What the fuck do you do? Give people like like the elevator pitch of who they're listening to right now. All right. Well, essentially, if you have someone you really don't like, but someone who asks you tons of questions about like stuff relating to YouTube, send them one of my videos <laughs> and then they'll never talk to you again. So problem solved. Sure. I, every, every video is about is essentially either it's supposed to either be fake or virtue <laughs> the subject somehow. So basically, just like normal commentary channels, except I do it on purpose. 
Right. I the way I would put it, without um forcing myself upon you too much, Harvey Weinstein Ooh. style, <laughs> I would say you do for the YouTube commentary community what I attempted to do for the anime YouTube community, where it's like you're the guy who who's in the know. But you're doing the satire, you're making fun of these people, and in making fun of them and doing their bit, their shtick better with, uh, with the comedic, uh, ironic sort of uh, tint to it all, you somehow, while mocking these people to their face, befriend them. <laughs> and uh, and now you're like, you're like part of their community. I've seen so many of these fucking this goddamn Twitter meme where people are posting, oh, rank rank all your favorite YouTubers from uh, SS to uh, shit tier. <laughs> I've I, seen I, you. I've seen the Just Jargon channel on like 50 of those. I've never seen myself on any of them. People have forgotten that I even exist. So, so if you've ever seen one of those memes, you might have seen a, a paper bag head or whatever his YouTube profile picture is. That's just jargon. Now you're in the know. Oh, man. The, you know, the funniest part, though, is that it's not just viewer. Like, most viewers don't notice. Like, I again, I, I don't know how on the nose I am with how fake things are. I try to make most videos fake. I mean... I mean, may, may, again, I, most people don't pay attention, but I, I try to be fairly, I don't know, I, I, I don't try to make too many real videos. But the funny thing is, not only do the viewers fall for it, but most of the commentary channels I talk to think I'm a legit commentary <laughs> channel and have invited me into their group chats to discuss real <laughs> subjects right. and legitimately want my input. I'm like, have you seen my videos before? Like, do you do you look at me and think this is the man, this is a guy who is well cited and who has genuinely something to add to the conversation that you want to associate with have you been invited to uh what's it called the nco the the new uh, the new cucks organization or something like that what is that funny called? thing about that I, I heard that it was ending so i asked him like hey now that this thing is literally you know now that this thing is sinking essentially uh can i be in it for no reason <laughs> and i i'm i joined it and i, I didn't expect that but i'm like oh hey I even wrote out a, a long paragraph where I was going to do this dramatic exit and just be like, guys, it's been fun. These past two minutes have been, you know, mwah, great time in my life, but I have to get out of here. I'm, you know, I have, feel like I'm moving. I need to move in a new direction. <laughs> and you've been in there for like a minute. <laughs> yeah, but but then a YouTuber I like popped up in there and I'm like, I got scared, so I couldn't. Oh, well. Uh, that's going to bring me into uh, something I want to talk about later, which is uh, your ability. Because you say right there you were afraid to talk to this uh, this random, probably Quentin Reviews-esque YouTuber. <laughs> but the thing about the Just Jargon show is that you'll you'll make videos, these, these channel reviews. You call them the Just Jargon channel reviews, where <laughs> you go in-depth into a different YouTube channel each episode, or sometimes just random shit, and it's still called a channel review. Uh, yeah. very, very reminiscent of a, a show near and dear to my heart. But then <laughs> you'll make an episode, you know, about me. You'll make an episode about Reactor. And then you'll convince us, these poor saps, to cameo in future episodes of your show. How how do you, and at the time, I think you had, what, like maybe less than 1,000 subs or something. How do less you? Less than 100 subs. Less than 100 subs. How do you get up the nerve to message these these huge titans, these these monstrous godlike creators like Reactor and myself, how do you how do you get the cojones to even DM them asking them? Because so many people, it seems, they they respect those sub counts so much, and they think, oh no, uh, Markiplier, he would never reply to me. I'm just I'm just wee little uh just jargon er there's no chance he would ever even notice one of my videos uh, how do you how do you go about approaching people to invite them to be on the videos of, i guess you uh having fun not at their expense but uh because of their i guess popularity yeah i mean well it helps like <laughs> it helps that every video is genuinely embarrassing to the point where i have almost nothing to lose to message the <laughs> like <laughs> Genuinely, even like when the, their person is like extremely like far up there in terms of popular, like, you know, like, I mean, I'll admit Reactor is probably the hardest, one of the huge, biggest YouTube gods out, out oh, there. Oh, true. You know, He's but... up there with Jeremiah the Gamer. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know, like I, it, I'll admit like it, like 
a lot of times though, the people will find me and actually message me about it. Like legit, I've only sent my video to three different, I think I've sent my videos to three different people, that being you, which I didn't, I didn't expect, again, I just wanted you to see it. I didn't want to really get in, I wasn't trying to get something from it. But I, I do like the idea of people seeing the videos and kind of seeing what people think of it. But most of the time with Reactor, or not React, sorry, not Reactor, with ER though, he actually approached me afterwards and I and kind of broke the ice. And I was just, again, I was kind of just taken aback by it. And actually, I don't know if this is kind of some kind of a secret, but Internet Historian actually did too after the video I made on him. And that video didn't even have like 10,000 views at the time. And I'm just like, how how on earth did he see it? I think I, there's something really flattering to these people that somebody because your videos aren't poorly made. These are like highly edited, high quality videos, and I think that's also uh, why. Thanks. I, I think that's also why some people in the audience might not realize it's a goof and that you're doing like some highbrow satire because it's so nicely edited that they assume, yeah, of course he's being authentic. Of course this is a real video. Why would he? <laughs> What madman would put all this work into a fucking joke? And, and the fact that uh, you, you, you'll you do the kind of satire where you'll say everything wrong, but like to an extent where you're making, I think, sometimes a, a stronger point about the person. Like you'll point out that ER, oh man, yeah, the media's right. He is such a, a racist Nazi guy. And then you'll, like, you'll go through his videos and, oh no, these are just normal comedy videos with a little yeah. bit of <laughs> Nazi humor. So like you'll... You, you'll purposefully misinterpret the person and it's a, it's a thin line you got to walk on because some morons out there I, i'm not going to name anybody who you may have reviewed in the past but some morons might think wow this fucking kid he's just he's perpe perpetuating these false things about me but then you have you know actual comedians and satirists like er who see the mm -hmm. thing you do and i'm guessing he immediately got it and thought it was hilarious is, is that I, pretty much i what mean i I assume so. I mean, I don't know. It was weird because, like, I, for one thing, I can't. It's honestly hard for me to fathom that people like my videos because I just look at them every time I'm done with them and like, this is the shittiest thing. No, no one's gonna like this. I just put it out and I'm like, okay, that's done. Let's move mm -hmm. on to the next thing. Let's try better next time. But it's which makes it weirder when people like ER respond and just like, and like, because again, he kind of. I don't know exactly what he did say to me, but um. We we kind of he 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 thought it he said he thought it was funny and it was like um and we kind of talked a lot about a, a lot about it afterwards and actually I think we we only got to we opened up communications um kind of because we started talking a lot about demonetization because oh. <laughs> um I had I had appealed thirty claims <laughs> uh, thir sorry thirty thirty things and then I came back on on the online like three days ago and looked at and there were ten more that got hit. Oh. Uh, they're not even getting them as they go up now they're just going through the whole back catalog and getting all yeah of them. and then then the er video itself got demonetized and but yeah we talked a lot about that because i was i was genuinely curious like i'm like okay how has he how has he been hit by it and he's like yeah i think i have three videos that aren't demonetized <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like oh my god poor guy it's funny that you you said a moment ago that Every time you finish a video, you kind of have like a distaste for it and yeah. this feeling of, uh, man, this video fucking sucks, but I did it. Put it up. I just finished my next video, and that's like one of the morals that I give at the end of uh, at the end of the video. Like I talk about the artistic process and how if you like your own work after you finish it, then it's probably a steamy pile of shit. And it yeah. takes it takes a, uh, a certain level of uh, perfectionism and self awareness to know that everything you make is shit, but then to put it out there anyway because it's a sign that you're yeah. improving and getting better. So I I think by accident you just revealed you are a true <laughs> auteur. Just jargon. Could it be? <laughs> oh, I mean, you got. I'm. I mean, yeah. Like I'm, you got me. I'm a true, true fine. True, true to only the highest quality coming <laughs> yeah. from my channel. <laughs> a so, constant improvement. Well, let's talk about your roots then. Let's see where you came from. When you first began on YouTube, what was your channel called and what were you making? Because I assume this isn't your, <laughs> your first uh, uh, breakout into making videos. Because, I mean, from the very beginning, there was a, a certain level of competence. 
Oh, so okay, so kind of funny thing about that, like, uh, pretty much if you name, kind of, if you look at kind of how YouTube was in any given time period and just think, what would a dumb kid who wants to do this exact same thing be making? Essentially, that was what I did at that given time. Like, um, uh, like I think I like at two in two thousand eleven, I made like my first channel, and I. The, the weird thing is, I was like, I I sort of where I live, I was not like, my parents are really like out of date with stuff with technology, and I didn't even know what YouTube was until two thousand nine. But before that, I was just making, like, I was just taking my camera and recording videos that were sent. It was tantamount to just like like two thousand like like you know 2019 vloggers but but it, but being an you know even more of an idiot kid and um and then after that when i made a channel in 2011 i was just kind of doing like skits and stuff just the worst stuff you can possibly imagine then i kind of in 2013 i started doing let's plays with my friends just because i thought it was fun and i never liked those videos like i maybe that could just be the the cognitive dissonance in my mind trying to convince myself that it that i that i genuinely wasn't one of those people but i i did i made let's plays way back when and uh, essentially even aaron hansen of game grums famously <laughs> tweeted if i ever start a let's play just fucking kill me i think everybody goes into the let's play game thinking oh i'm doing this ironically i don't i'm not stooping to this level of content but then everybody's like oh no i like making let's plays <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, I quit like imme like I I quit the moment like my friends weren't around to do it anymore. I I remember hating doing it. I don't know if I liked the videos, but I at least do remember now that I I didn't actually like doing it. Um, but you didn't like playing video games with your friends and talking. Oh well, no, I didn't like doing it once my friends weren't around. Uh, like, oh, I was okay. just, and I didn't like the videos themselves. I more just sort of did the videos. I recorded it just as kind of a means of getting them in on it because they were all just like, I, I mean, I remember they were all just like, oh man, YouTube, I'm just going to make Let's Plays and just going to blow right up. I'm like, okay, well, let's record videos and then you guys will, then you guys will actually hang out with me once in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to <laughs> trick them into hanging out. That's the, that's the secret. I, I mean, it kind of, it, it kind of worked. But, yeah. um, but the point is though, like after that, I just kind of, fell out of things like I, I i wanted to do youtube for a lot longer but i i just didn't like i'm a firm believer that nobody should care about the opinions of anyone on the internet because like i look at commentary channels and like i don't know how many people i'm gonna piss off by saying this especially considering the fact that this is probably gonna get more views than most of my videos so uh, i don't know you've uh, had some real big honkers lately just jargon i think you have uh way more views on your channel than i currently have on mine <laughs> Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I get, got kickstarted from your from that tweet of yours and then passed you. I think even Jeremiah the Gamer might have more views than me presently. Oh, man. <laughs> I do have more subs than Jeremiah the Gamer now. Oh, whoa. Well, we'll get into that. I still want to hear about your humble beginnings. When, oh, yeah. when will these uh, 2011 skits and Let's Plays be made publicly available to all of us? What, what's the name of the channel so we can go check these out? I think the channel's gone, but I think I have the videos. I, I, I know there was a point where I literally wanted to sort of grab all the videos that I had made prior. Cause I haven't, I, I haven't like, nothing is gone per se. There's like, I can probably the name the videos of mine that have been deleted completely from the mainframe on one hand. I mean, I mean, cause I don't know. I just think they're funny to look back at. So I'll save them. But, um, basically the channel i don't think it no longer exists i mean maybe it does i don't quite remember it's been like years since i've even accessed it if it still even is around but i know de definitely whether it's gone or not if it's not gone the videos on it are private and i don't know the password so i don't oh. know if i can ever change them back but well that's I, if they, again, I, I was gonna yeah. say if you if you did have access to all of this content you, maybe you could do like a just jargon channel reviews uh, time travel episode where you accidentally go back in time and find uh, your own channel from when you were uh, a whippersnapper and you review it like <laughs> you would any other channel. <laughs> maybe I do uh, want to, I have an idea for, I have wanted to do something like that. I, it's one of those things where I like, I, I guarantee like absolutely nobody would care, but it'd be one of those things where I would definitely want to do that kind of just as, you know, it just, just kind of for the joke of it. And maybe not even tell people it's my channel and just have it be a, a, a secret face reveal that nobody knows about hidden in plain sight. Oh, you've got your face in these uh, in these Let's Plays, or is it just the skits? Oh, well, actually, oh, I mean, 
Oh yeah, I do actually have my my face in the skits, but yeah, like you guys did face cam for your Minecraft let's play. Oh no, I didn't actually. It oh. just was yeah, so the there are still let's Minecraft let's plays on my channel that I refuse to take down because there's so much of an inside joke now in my, with with uh with my audience like they're always like like no, this is the greatest thing you've ever made. Your channel peaked <laughs> in 2013 when you were uploading let's plays because my main channel is still the same channel that I was making let's plays on in 2013. So hey, it just goes um, to show uh even if your channel's 6 years old, if you change up your content, you can catch your big break. Doesn't matter how long it's been. Hope never dies. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh, uh, funny enough, some of my Let's Player friends are from way back when are they never stopped making Let's Play let, Let's Play content, and I think I I don't know for sure, but I think I might have passed all of them. Oh, I would almost guarantee that most Let's Play channels, the vast majority, do not have even ten thousand subscribers. Oh, de de definitely, but I I mean like they've been working actively for five for five or six years now, and I'm just hey. I don't know how I don't know how angry they are about that about the fact that I just started making videos a year ago and just you know and got rocketed up past them hey as you speed but, past them on the youtube highway you got to yell out the window hey grandpa times are changing nobody wants to watch let's plays no more it's all about scripted content and live streams and maybe oh, yeah. they'll learn maybe they'll start making their own uh, channel reviews <laughs> one guy did actually do a one guy did a thing where he was he was talking about he was like saying yeah this guy's my best friend we you know, we've known each other um, like for a long, long time now. He like, and it's like, yeah, I just wanted to make something creative like him. And just, I'm like, oh my God, dude, please. This is kind of like, it seems pretty transparent what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, these fucking leeches, all, all these fake friends who, um, <laughs> they come out of the woodwork. As soon as you have a channel with over 20K subs, it happened to me. I think it's happened to everybody. Oh, oh, <laughs> you didn't want to hang out and make videos back when we were doing it for fun. But now that there's some cheddar involved, now that there's fame and popularity, suddenly, oh, we're best friends. Oh, you want to start yeah. making shit together again. Oh, is that so? Ooh, yeah. okay. Oh, but, yeah, but, uh, to, oh, to finish off, though, how things went, essentially, like, um, I wanted to make videos of some kind, but I, like I said, I'm a firm believer that, absolutely nobody should care about any opinions on the internet because i just look at these face cam commentary channels especially who just sit down and be like okay guys today we're going to discuss this really important thing that happened like with logan paul right just <laughs> in incredibly just incredibly important like you all need to know i need to address this how we, how do we as the community allow this to all that kind of stuff and i just look at it and i'm just i mean i don't know it just seems so stupid to me and i just wanted to make a you can say I'm not any better because I, I don't think my videos are better, like in terms of the quality than those. But I at least I, I can at least make myself sleep at night uh, by knowing that I'm at least <laughs> at least not consciously doing the same thing. Like I'm I don't know. No, I, I, I think know. you're you're doing something completely different. I think it's a completely different genre. It, it, it's um these fucking people. They're leeches, too. I, I've said for a long time and uh. Uh, I'm not afraid to say this while looking straight into the camera. Uh, it takes no creativity. I, I think uh, the most creatively bankrupt people become commentary channels on YouTube. I would place yeah. a commentary channel below even like a Let's Player in terms of a creativity and hard work. Because like you're saying, th these people, they're just fucking, uh, they're succubi, they're leeches. Oh, somebody has 20 million subs, Logan Paul, uh, Jake Paul, these people are so popular. I'm going to make a video every single day just talking about what they posted on Twitter and Instagram. It's yeah, fucking and pathetic. Like, yeah, I mean, well, granted, that, that's kind of the thing about what I do, though, is just, I mean... No, that's, that's not what you do at fucking all. You, what you, I mean you have is crafted... I from that same you, thing, technically. You, like, that's the you, thing that kind of makes me a little bit nervous because i'm like yeah i'm technically like still benefiting from that i i do think it is different to some extent i, I don't know how like <laughs> well here's like how i think of... it's different i you you have crafted over the course of your videos this grand narrative this uh this deep-seated conspiracy theory and and you're crafting just a storyline with all of these different reviews and and different people play different parts different agents of chaos different uh uh, uh, silent assassins within this this big conspiracy with YouTube and Susan and all the Elliot uh, Roger secretly being me all this crazy shit that's more creativity than 
you'll find you have more creativity to quote uh uh oh <laughs> death of a salesman uh more talent more creativity in your pinky than they have in their whole fucking body their whole channel oh. does not have an ounce of that creativity you are crafting narratives and stories and rumors and all this crazy shit based off of reality converting it into satire into a uh, comedy into all these things you're not just telling me what Jake Paul did on Instagram you are telling me how his uh his uh random pointless actions in a video are actually tied into the grand conspiracy of life and how it will impact all of us directly in the in the dark uh, uh hamster future that we will all one day be uh succumb to like that's well, it's, it's a whole different genre to me <laughs> Well, I appreciate well, I appreciate that because that's way more than I ascribe to those videos themselves. Because those, I just again, I I just I'm like I literally I don't know like I I don't know I I I just was like wanting to kind of just figure out some I just I just thought the whole conspiracy theory thing was funny. Like it's like I mean again, part of the reason I do it like that is I again I don't think that story is the quote unquote story that are in those videos is good by any means. But at but, least um, it's creative. At least it's something different. At yeah, least it's yeah, not I mean, regurgitating what a famous guy did. You're actually yeah. uh, changing uh, the the work instead of just uh, relaying what I could see on Instagram. You are transforming it into entertainment. Yeah. Oh, but um. Oh, but that's, uh, but yeah, but I'm, uh, that, that's actually funny, um, funny you mentioned that because I actually was going to say, like, the reason I stopped YouTube after 2013 was actually because I started writing books. Hey! Um, I have, I think, five books written right now. Oh, uh, all of fuck. Which... <laughs> I have five They're... books written too. I know how it is, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, it's so easy to say five, but man, that's like five full years of writing and thinking and pondering and, scr and all this shit. It's it's oh, yeah. it's no easy. Uh, it's not yeah, easy. actually. Uh, well, oh uh, yeah, but I what I was doing like they're like I had these books like from I mean I, that's not including like I had books in middle school. It was like about my friends and I meeting like Greek gods or something like that. It was oh, kind of weird. Fuck but... off. Wait, what? Is this a is this a fucking bit? Are no, you... it was a, it was literally it was a weird kind of a. Are you just it... jargoning my interview right now, you son of a bitch? What is this? What do you mean? What's that's literally me? You're just describing me. <laughs> Wait, did you have something like that too yes yes oh it was well it was kind of tight it wasn't exactly like it was it was like it was like it took place in modern times and it was like these 10 there were like these 10 books that just literally i just would take the names of my friends and put them down we'd be like these people who were like trying to find like this like lost this lost greek city or whatever and just trying to save the world and like there was like all the like there was the greek gods in it and everything it was <sighs> Was that similar? That's exactly. That's that was my first two books. Was exactly what you're saying, <laughs> word for word. How long were they? By by the way, they were both 469 pages. Oh well, then you did more than me because these were like literally 10 printer pages a piece. <laughs> oh, that's not a book. That's a fucking short story. Well, I I wrote them like I I wrote them out to be long, but they didn't come out that way because I wasn't. I I was like still at the point where I was like. I was like talking to the. I was like, "This happened, then this happened, then this happened." Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not a. But, it's not a fully yeah. fleshed out world of characters and ideas quite yet. Yeah, I mean, granted, my other books, I try to make them like that. Like I have, I like think, actual book books. I have, yeah. My five other, my five other books are like three hundred pages a piece. Technically, they were like there was, they were like six hundred at one point, but it's like I split. I, I don't know. I I sort of split them up into because I they were kind of like one of those things where it's like. There was like a cut kind of in the middle where, you know, like there's like, you know, how some books have distinct halves and like, you know, some, there's, it's almost like the whole, you know, chapters will be told by a different perspective and everything. Yeah. Well, in, in this, in this book, like it was like the, there was a distinct break in the middle of them. And so I broke them up. So it was like, technically there was like two and a half, but that were like 600 pages long, but it actually ended up being, I, when I broke them up and reformatted them, it was five books that were 300 pages each, but the, but the point is, I'm sorry to keep going off on tangents, but essentially what that culminated in is I did those and then I kind of got, got tired of doing them for a while. So I literally wanted to do, I wanted to do YouTube stuff again. So I, one day I kind of, I just went out on, on a limb, bought Premiere Pro and then just sort of taught myself to use it. Like I, most of my editing is just based around moving stuff around in the, in the, in, you know, in Premiere Pro. 
essentially just having it, you know, using keyframes and having it move back and forth. That's why it's not, that's why I don't like the videos at all. Cause I don't know how to do much else besides that. But it but looks, I, it looks so good that you would think you know what you're doing. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's the, I, I'm, I'm glad people are thinking that cause the, you know, your videos gotta, are better edited than mine. Like I, I, I was thinking don't at one point, you have like personality to it. I don't, <laughs> well, I don't I'm I, just like, Let's but, stuff this thing as full as I can with as much editing so people will forget that I have no personality. Well, everybody thinks of, like, Bedhead Bernie and, and Turkey Tom as these great editors, but I was under the impression your videos were just as well edited. I mean, I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, this. actually, I don't know if this is a secret. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Tom, if this is a secret, but I'm going to say it anyway. Tom has actually told me his, my videos are better than his. Oh, I'm, like, well. I'm like, what on earth, Tom? You've, you've never said a kind thing about anyone but Mumkey. So, <laughs> so why are you telling me this? So, hey, well, maybe that guy worships you. You got to do a, a Turkey Tom exposed video. Oh, he's, he's not as brash and relentless as you might think and you like post all the oh no he the is secret dms <laughs> of worse. him saying nice things no he's worse he's just not he's even more more he's even more uh, more brash and all that stuff behind the scenes but he <laughs> has like three things that are like his his uh the things he'll his heart will just melt for apparently <laughs> well what, me you and what i mean me and i think i think just you know well, actually, maybe not three. Maybe I might have miscounted <laughs> wow. two. It's a big number to mess up. Hey, that's why I make YouTube videos. I'm not yeah. good in that much else. Well, before we, we go back to the videos, I do want to go back to this. Uh, you're writing five 300-page books because uh, uh, some people may know this about me. My secret or perhaps not so secret real passion is not making these fucking garbage videos or doing <laughs> stupid fucking streams that I don't give a shit about or interviewing fucking uh, uh, internet nobodies like Just Jargon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. My real passion has always been the writing, creative yeah. writing, the novels and all that. So I want to know, uh, how did you get into it? Because uh, I know how I got into it. What made you think, hey, I want to write something that'll take me years it'll be super long and then nobody will ever see it yeah i mean yeah that's i mean that's tantamount to it literally i i just sort of like i i wrote like i think it was i don't know i just kind of like telling stories like i i in like middle school again i came up with that idea for the the thing with the the, the greek god Fuck stuff and off. I, you read my book and you wanted to copy it just oh uh, yeah i did read your books and i did uh i mean book you know, yeah, I book. assume you didn't read the the Greek gods one that I wrote. It was on the the library shelf of my my high school library for about two years, and then I went back after graduation and said, "No, let's get this out of here. <laughs> I don't I don't think oh. this should be out anymore." Well, then you've had more people read your books than will ever read mine because mine are like locked up behind closed doors and just are not. Those are not going anywhere until I have until I can edit them because I've had I have lit. lit Literally 300 pages that are just notes as to what to change when I rewrite oh the books. So I'm gonna have to rewrite man. all of them from ground zero. Do you so. plan on actually doing that, or is that just sort of a pipe dream? Well, I mean, it's maybe a little bit of both because I was going to do that, but then I started doing this thing called YouTube, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that kind of took away from it. But um, yeah, and like, but we're, the way I got into it is I just kind of like telling stories, and I um, and I did get better like over time. I'm not I. I know a lot of people will just be like, you know, like, yeah, I'm a writer. Like I'm, I'm, you know, and write like five pages a day and just like fucking just go off and just go to, go, you know, adopt the whole writing culture where they just, you know, wear the stupid beanies, have the laptops with a bunch of stickers on them and tell people they're a writer. You know, you got to know it. Like sure. they're going to change the world someday. I mean, again, I'm not like different from that, but I do actually, I did at one point write a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm it's kind of, a, I'm kind of a hypocrite because I don't, I haven't touched a book in quite a while in terms of writing, but I did at one point write five books. So that is, I did, I'll always hold that above those stupid hipsters. No, yeah, most people these days, they think being a writer is making what a fucking, uh, uh, God, what is that website that Asterios always fucking uses? Uh, where BuzzFeed? No, the one where anybody can, <laughs> Medium. They, they think being a writer is that I wrote a, a listicle for fucking Medium. Like, <laughs> it takes such a high level of concentration and discipline to oh, write yeah, a yeah. fucking book. 
You're not a writer because you type up tweets and fucking listicles for BuzzFeed. Writing yeah. a book is so fucking hard. And the fact that you've written five, even if they're shitty, it doesn't matter if they're bad. It The discipline it takes to do that in the first place, regardless of quality, yeah, yeah. is extraordinary. If you haven't tried to write a book, people... Tr f give it a shot if you think it's so fucking easy. It's oh, not. That's another thing. The f by the way, I forgot. Yeah, my first book was handwritten. I had oh, to convert shit. it into typed. I don't know why I did it like that. I was just, I mean, can't use the R word, right? I was, I was being, I was being a little bit of a something that's less, a, a, a less uh, harmful. You're being a numbskull. Destructive word. Huh? A numbskull. A scallywag. Ah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I just, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> but I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I did at one point, actually, like, I I did win an actual award, like, I was in this contest at my college, and I actually won first prize on it. <laughs> was it a poetry it was, it, story? Oh, well, it was, uh, it was for, uh, I was, it wasn't for the books, it was for a, it was for a short story, um, but it was one that, like, it, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, I, I wasn't exactly, this was a community college, so it wasn't exactly, I wasn't exactly competing with the most, yeah, It's not know, prestigious with, of a victory. Yeah, right? yeah. But I, I, I was pretty, ha I was pretty, uh, pretty happy getting it, but, um. What was the short I mean, story about, your award-winning short story? <laughs> I mean, it was about, it was one of those things where it was like, the stuff I was writing, like, was not, like, my teacher was like, this is a little bit unorthodox to... <laughs> um to be to be to um you know enter in the thing was and it edgy or what it wasn't actually edgy it was just like i was i'm huge into sci-fi and all that stuff so it's it's a it's the thing is the reason i don't like the books as much now is because i was i wrote them i started writing them when i was 16 and finished off when i was like 20 or that's when i stopped oh, and actually fuck them. off you're just copying my whole life, just jargon down to the T. Every number, the, every dotted I, every cross T. You're co it's such a copycat. Why do you think I chose you for the first review? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't. It's uh, all coming together. Yeah, my I mean, original but, channel name was called Just Monkey. Is that where you got fucking just jargon from? <laughs> oh my god, this is bullshit. Oh, uh, horrible. Anyway, so what was the short story? It was a sci-fi uh, epic romance between Mocklins and robots. Um, it was um, my the the short story was um, was uh, it was kind of this. I, oh my god! I just realized how ironic this is now. That the short story. Oh my god! The short story was about two people, one one who who gains a living from being this just this the the you know the biggest like just this. This piece of shit movie star. Okay. Um, and the other one, by the, it was like this hardworking, uh, this hardworking, like you know, like small town mayor, and who's just as like does everything like ethically, but gets just nothing from it. <laughs> and I'm just realizing that's so much that fits. That's so funny because it fits with it. It makes so much more sense. Like with it, it works with YouTube a lot more than. Then I and that's when I wasn't doing YouTube. Where of course YouTube is the the small town mayor just trying to do his best, and he keeps getting shit on. I assume that's the the metaphor here, right? I, I get yeah, like the person. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Again, there's a lot. I am not saying that's me because again, my stuff t doesn't take nearly as much work as a lot of people's. Like, there's this guy who um who has like, he has about I think forty five thousand subscribers, and he has posted like five videos that are like movie quality. Like I'm talking like. Um, his name is Lord Vega, by the way. I don't know. Um, he. I've heard the name like, actually, but I don't remember yeah, where. Yeah, he's he's uh he's part of the NCO as well, actually. I think. That's, oh wow, what a hero! <laughs> but but no, but his his uh he's he actually his videos are they're like these they're kind of like they're like parodies and the and they they'll mock current events but indirectly kind of like what I try to do but through but it, you know actually better like they'll they'll be like essentially movies like one of them styled like a. This guy's like this, like this spy who's trying to hunt down all the clowns that are, you know, <laughs> like um, that are like, uh, uh, you know, terrorizing the world, you know, from 2016, and like it's a making fun of those events in a manner that's like completely unique and original. And the guy just gets no views, and it's just it's it's heartbreaking because like it's like you can't, you know, it's you can't upload videos like that that take two months to make, and you know. 
get popular anymore. I mean, and you know, and the fact is those videos have less views than my video that came out last, the video on, on Chad Tronk that has 50,000 views. Like all of them, 50, I think have- 50,000. Yeah, that it was, it was only from spillover from the last one though. That's why that one got popular. Mm, I don't but, know. I don't, I'd be surprised if I got another 50K view video this year, Jargon. Some people it, are never satisfied. Just make another, another. I'm the PewDiePie of Vanilla, and I think you'll be good. <laughs> uh, wait, did that video? I don't think that got too many views, did it? <laughs> I think it did. I looked at your oh. channel when I at one point, and I was like, wait, that has more views than I thought it would have. Oh god, yeah. It's all. <laughs> are you are you ever surprised by which of your videos really blow up and which ones don't get any views at all? Because I I'm often surprised. At least I was oh, yeah. back in the day when it happened to me. Yeah, totally. Like I uh, actually, I don't, I don't know which of my videos are. Well, the Justin Why my the video that's my most popular video is a video on Justin Why, you know, the YouTube commenter guy. Right. Um, and that has like four hundred thousand views. Yeah. I'm just like, what on earth? Like, part of it is though he actually liked, clicked, you know, liked the video, and since he has no videos, his channel tab essentially is when you go to Justin Wise videos tab, it will take you to his liked videos. So his subscribers will actually see it. Um, and since it's pertaining to him, they'll actually, they'll click on it. Presumably that's how it got recommended in the first place. But the videos of mine that actually do get traction, like the ones, it does surprise me because like, I didn't expect, like I'm, I'm looking at right now. I don't know which ones of mine have gotten views in a while. Uh, I, I think like the one like the one I expected to get more views than it did was probably the one on T series, which was probably like that was one of my best videos ever made, and I did it because I was like I was trying to be like okay, this is probably gonna be it's probably gonna get to a, a bigger audience, so I need to make sure to step up the game on this one. Um, and but I, but like then a video like the, the Justin Y video had I think a an unintentional ear rape moment in it that. <laughs> blew, <laughs> Did you ever see that? I've, I've seen all your videos. I, I just don't remember that particular <laughs> really? I don't, ear rape. I the, you don't you wait you don't oh but um yeah it my I I forgot you see I had this keyboard I had this I was doing I had this typewriter in the background of the video and I was you see I do audio editing on the sound effects last so and I had pulled an all nighter to finish that video um. And basically, I forgot to lower the audio, the default audio <laughs> settings from the typewriter in the background, so it just was like <laughs> blowing up everyone's eardrums in the back for like five seconds, and it just happens out of nowhere. I I finally had the the foresight or the the hindsight to go into the video in the YouTube editor and cut that part out, but that was after it already got all the views. And like there are comments with thousands of likes saying, "I think you forgot to lower the audio around," <laughs> like that. The, the, more people have seen that video than any other video on my channel. That that accounts for like, I don't know, almost half of my total channel views, and that's what people have seen. Yeah, is that mortifying to you that like you're yeah. by accident? It's your most popular video, and it has like glaring issues that make you want to throw up. Yeah, I mean that's how I feel about all my videos prior to like I think like literally every video before the first of the year I just hate. <laughs> and some of the ones after that, I hate a little less. Like the videos, I don't like particularly any of my videos. I all, I think all of them could be vastly improved. I mean, I don't, but I don't have the skills to do it. It's one of those things where I still don't know how to do all the things I want to do. Um, and one thing I do want to do is I'd want to have more live action all this, in all the stuff because, like, I, I love, I, I do. One of the things I love about your videos is you have all this live action bits. But I have no one to help me film, and I live in a very weird area where there's no places outside or even inside to film because my house is like all one room so if you so yeah. if anyone's around i can't do anything and you know yeah but and the only person i have to help film is my sister who just is really impatient and just won't <laughs> won't 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 be available for more than a couple hours you know but <laughs> but yeah the point i'm getting at is yeah it, it does bother me how some of my videos like that are, are extremely popular or and and are you know have glaring issues but Fortunately, my newer videos are becoming a lot more popular than my older videos ever were. So, you know, I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to ask about your uh, your work ethic, the, the turnaround on these videos. I, I know for the longest time, and I think you still do this, you try to have a new upload every six days. Is, do you still do that? I, it's every 10 days now, but okay, here's the weird thing about, like, I, 
okay, I don't know if this is some kind of a, if I'm not trying to just be one of those Tumblr people who screams, I have a medical disorder or something oh, like no. that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I have just my, like I my I, my dad has extreme ADHD and I cannot, I literally cannot sit down and make a video unless I have a deadline. So oh, I, the, the only way I can get a video done is if I, is if I tell myself that something is going to go vastly wrong if I don't get it out <laughs> right on time. And so the thing is, I've it, originally my goal was to have a video out every five days, and that it was a lot easier way back when because the videos were a lot easier to make. But I try to keep adding live action segments. Like I'm trying to do it more and more, but I, I can't because again I'm kind of limited by the fact that you know my sister who who helps me film, and I mean I can use a tripod, but it's. I can't do nearly as much with it because it's like trying to do that, that single handedly, you know, it, it's not, it's not as easy to do, you know, that, but the point I'm getting at is that basically, um, like, uh, it, I, I can't function without a deadline. And that's the thing is I'll tip end up pulling all nighters the last couple days before the deadline comes out just to meet it. Even though I know nothing will happen afterwards. Yeah, it's an arbitrary deadline that you set yeah. yourself, but the, but the autism of your brain is still <laughs> motivated by it. That's yeah. That's literally, that's, that's the only way I can do any of this. Like I, I can't, cause I will not be able to sit down and do it. Like I'll like, if you, like I, I was looking at, at the video I did last week or whatever. Um, I think I, I, one so I took me one day I think to edit a minute of that. Then the next day well, I edited another minute of it, and like not because, because it was hard. difficult to edit or just because you well, were not paying attention. I mean, it's it's at the point now where if I was if theoretically if I was one hundred percent focused, I could probably get a video done in about. If I focused and sat down, I could probably get a video done with twenty hours of work. Yeah. Um, but it's like it doubles to probably like forty because I'll be sitting down and just looking at twitter for hours and on on end but so i could probably get it done in two days if i tried but it's one of those things where um yeah it's like i I'll, i edited one minute the first thing and i then i added another minute the second day then i think like two minutes the third day and then like i think the last day i edited like i think six minutes yeah yeah that that and, final day you the all the procrastination yeah. alarms go off in your head and you're like oh, i gotta finish it go 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 yeah, exactly. And, that, and that, but also, here's another thing. Nobody, almost nobody knows this, but um, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but my videos, like, again, I, I, like I said, I don't like my videos. So I try to do everything I can that even if it's arbitrary to make them look better. Um, and, and that's the, and every video is rendered in 4K. <laughs> um, and so, but the problem with that is I live in a place where, like, it, it's, again, there's like, um, my internet is the worst. I cannot upload anything. Um, and so what I literally have to do is when I want to upload a video, I have to drive out to the library and, and, uh, upload it there. Man, man, I don't know if this is like the deepest, darkest bit you've ever done, but it, like, man, I, when I used to live at my parents' house out in the country, we didn't have internet. I'd have to drive to Biggs's fucking trailer park to upload videos. <laughs> I remember one time I was without internet for a weekend, so I had to drive to the Wendy's parking lot, connect to their Wi-Fi on my laptop, and upload That's videos. That's what I did when I uploaded the video on you. Yeah, <laughs> the I, first video on you, I drove him at the McDonald's parking lot. I, I sat in my hot car for about an hour and a half as it uploaded because my new apartment didn't have internet yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, jargon. Uh, maybe maybe you're like a clone of me. We're the same exact maybe, person, it seems. Why do you think that that was the th that was the... That why do you think that was the the lore about it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like oh this is man, some next level shit. I don't know. Um, <laughs> a second ago, you mentioned the 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 curse that we all face, where you have this consistency. Oh, every six days I'll have a new video, but like you said, now it has to be every ten days because the videos get higher quality, better, longer, all that. And the curse of that is once you set that precedent. These greedy, yeah. greedy motherfuckers who are watching your content for free. It's free entertainment for them. They don't get it. They say, oh, but, but Monkey, when you made your, your six-minute episode, uh, six-minute-long episodes of Monkey's anime reviews, they came out every week. 
And now that you're making uh, these uh, 45 minute to one hour long videos, how come they're not still coming out every uh, yeah. single week? Like, you motherfuckers, you have to realize I'm three years better than I used to be. I'm making bigger projects, uh, better editing, better scripting. Everything's better, but it takes longer. <laughs> why, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we give these people the expectation that we can get better and better without uh, <laughs> spending more time on the craft? Why, why did we do this to ourselves? Well, I mean, that's the thing is I've actually never gotten like this is going to sound maybe I mean, maybe this sounds weird. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. But I've never I've never I don't think been big enough to where people have genuinely noticed when I don't upload. Mm. Um, I've because I maybe it's just because the the change was gradual. Like I gradually pushed out the limit to 10, not because the I granted I could probably still get videos done every five days like I was doing before if I didn't rest like I could like. Because now I'll take days in between because I'm just like, I'm usually so burned out from pulling like three all nighters that I'll, <laughs> I mean, not I'll, I'll sleep, but usually I'll be like, it'll be like five in the morning before I'm like, yeah, okay. I think it's time for me to go to bed now. Um, well, how the hell do you but, balance this? I mean, you, you said you go to college. I don't know if you still do, but how do you, <laughs> how do you balance posting a new video every week with having, I, I don't, assume, things are a wreck. Like and... I, 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 I probably like I'm, I'm borderline obsessed. Like I, it doesn't show on, because I don't post videos as often as a lot of people do, but I'm like, it's like, I, I'm spend most of my time on the internet, but it's one of those things where I'm also so lazy. So it kind of balances out where I'm spending a lot more time than most people think, but I'm, but that time's not being effective because I'm not engaging with it as much as I need to. Cause, and it's one of those things where like, I, I haven't gotten people sort of saying like anything about when I miss an upload, mostly because again, it's been pushed out progressively. And I, I, I don't know, like I, I just sort of, I try to make the, you know, the videos is like, I, I try to keep upping it, but it's, I don't know if they're taking more time or not, because I genuinely think my attention span over the last, over this whole year has gotten, um, you know, shorter and shorter because I, I can, the videos keep getting, you know, more and more, more time consuming to make. And I don't know, I just, I don't know if it's a, it's a, I don't know if it's a, it's probably a mix between the fact that again, I'm getting my attention spans wearing down. And the fact of the matter is that videos are getting harder to make. But I think if I wasn't burning out, maybe the videos would, it would balance out because I'm, I'm not, I, I can, I, I can work faster with the things I've done a bunch of times. Like, so the, the, the tedious stuff that I have to do for every video, like all the keyframes and everything like that that stuff takes less time now but i don't know if it would balance out or not but i'm again i'm kind of i'm extremely burning out and that's partially one of the problems with all that well how are your classes going are you failing out of school because of this dedication to a youtube channel <laughs> i'm in uh i i did drop a class this quarter uh oh um, yeah <laughs> uh don't but, tell mom um, and dad oh uh, <laughs> Oh, they knew. Uh -oh. They, they saw it on their. Actually, no, they saw the refunds, so they were like, "Oh, good. You're not gonna be maybe draining off of us for <laughs> on, oh, like a few more quarters." But, um, yeah, I uh, like it's funny because I actually, I actually am graduating too, so that's part of it. I, <laughs> I'm at this weird like I have I got the most generic, um, generic degree possible. Like I got like uh, it's like, you know, like a general degree, like the most you know cookie cutter thing you can get. Um, well, I'm training it just now. says I went to college on it or what? essentially yeah oh, I didn't even know that you could do that I thought you had to declare some sort of major oh well it, it is a major but it's uh it's just it's like it's, it's essentially the the thought process behind this is let's make this degree like let's put so many different kinds of classes in it <laughs> that it should probably be useful for something <laughs> like if you take another if you take like a four-year degree like so it'd be again, like, like graduating high school in the 50s essentially okay <laughs> or it you know like again i i'm technically right now i'm trying to take another degree to become like a uh a cad drafter um which uh i don't know if you know what that is but i it would be like designing engineering schematics um but uh i don't really like doing it i i learned a lot about it in high school but i don't really like doing it but it's one of those things where i'm doing it i'm kind of like meh on like you know it's like with the you know I, i'm 
like I'm taking some classes towards it, but I'm really going slow. And it's partially because I don't want to decrease time on YouTube because it is starting to pay off now. Like, yeah, what, what percentage videos... of your brain is leaning towards uh, embracing the YouTube career in the future and like taking the Monkey Jones the route, <laughs> uh, abandoning uh, the ability to get a real job and just doing full Internet career? What what percentage of your brain is leaning that way? Um. Well, I actually. I actually really don't want to do YouTube as a career. Like I, like I, I, but here's the, this is going to be a weird thing that I, I saying this is going to open up a can of worms, but I'm, I, it's one of those things where I'm probably, I, I can't really say much about it, but I have this idea. You see, I, my, my goal, like subscriber goal or whatever is like the only thing I want, like I want to get the plaque. Like I know I don't want to do videos just for that. But you the can thing have is, mine. I'm not doing anything with mine anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait you. Oh yeah, I forgot your second channel. You only have one. You've had like you have a ton of channels, but I keep yeah. You well, none of the other ones. Bro I, I would have gotten my second one, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, this one, I mean, it's it's Susan. it's memorializing a dead channel, so I, I have no need for. It. Maybe I'll uh, auction it off one of these days. <laughs> or do like what Rusty marker. did, and, like oh yeah, it scares his game. Another yeah. <laughs> if he ever makes a second channel, another channel, then just then <laughs> put my name on it and send it my way. But um, the point I'm getting at is that essentially I, I want to, I want to have a, that I want to have a lot. I like having a lot of people watching and I, I like making the videos regardless. Cause I was making videos for six months before anyone ever, I, before I even gained one subscriber, literally, um, <laughs> um I was, and, uh, but those videos, if you look back, none of them, they were all inside jokes with my friends. Like they were just like, I wasn't, that wasn't when I was actively being like, let's see if I can get popular. Like, but my goal is essentially, I do want to get to hundred K I, I try not to set any goals on as as because I think it's petty. I mean I think it's all meaningless. But I admit I do like that YouTube plaque. <laughs> but the point is after that I I want to still keep making videos, but I don't have any real aspirations after that. I don't want it as a career that I'm gonna I'm gonna like oh yeah this is gonna last my whole life. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be making channel reviews of you know people until you know in, until i like in, until i'm you know 40 years old and i'm and i'm losing my hair and well there, there's I'm precedent yelling, ah, for it i mean into the camera still. yeah what well, i mean you don't want to be the next dog doug uh, i was gonna say dog walker doug walker or uh, james rolf you don't want to follow in their footsteps and be a, a career a youtube man nope, nope. i, I I want to keep making, I do want to keep making videos like as long as I possibly can, but I never like I do. Cause part of it is like, I'm extremely like, if I, here's my thing. If I don't have a reason to leave the house, I won't. I'm like, <laughs> I, and so I'm like, I want, I don't like, I want something. I want to do a job that involves me getting outside. I would be fine doing YouTube part-time. I think it'd be, it'd be great as a part-time thing to, you know, a little extra income. It'd be, that'd be nice. Um, and it's kind of what that is now, technically speaking. But, um, you know, like if it could be, it's still not, you know, I'm still putting in a lot more hours than theoretically it would, if it doesn't equate to like a minimum wage job at this point almost. But, you know, um, it, I mean, but what I'm getting at though is I wouldn't want to do this full time because I think it's just like, again, it's partially maybe because I, I can, I rag on the channels that try to make a living off it so much. But I, I, I do want to, I do have a goal. I do want to try to get to hundred K, which other than that though, I don't really care. I like that people watch my videos as is. And while granted, I don't understand the appeal as much as some people apparently, but I, I do like making the stuff and I, that's kind of what I'm in it for. How many subs are you at as of this recording? Uh, I'm actually, when I, my channel page is still pulled up. Let me check, um, from the, when I was checking the popular videos, uh, 18,894. Okay, so I mean, it it took me about two years to get to fifty k, and then I went from fifty k to three hundred k in the next year. So oh, yeah, like the, the growth is exponential, and I think if your yeah. if your goal is a hundred k, I think in the next couple of years, I think you could hit that pretty easily. Yeah, I, I that's the thing is, I hope I can hit it before I have to like before I'm I'm gonna have to be like done with college and be self sufficient because I'm like I don't know how I'm going to be a functioning member of society with the amount of time I spend on the internet yeah, good <laughs> and luck just sort of, yeah. <laughs> but so I hope at least it's, it can pull its weight enough as a minimum wage job or if, if that, I don't know if like to the, you know, equating to the hours I, I'm, I'm putting into it, but 
Well, well, it's I, nice to point, make uh, any amount of money doing something that yeah. you genuinely enjoy. It's not yeah, like yeah, any I, other. Like you'll never have a job like this, or even a part-time job like this, ever again in your life. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I'm I mean, enjoying unless, it as much as I can. Books, unless books were to pick up, which <laughs> well, you got to unlock them before you can possibly yeah, sell I, them. I have a lot to do on those, but um, yeah, like uh, other than that, though, like I again, I I'm I'm pretty like I'm. 90% of the reason like I, I'm also doing it because it's like it's one of those things where I do know that like pretty much anything I do after this like I won't ever probably have a job again where I'm like in the public eye like I mean that big quotes around that because again I I'm ha I have 18,000 I'm not exactly and you're a I'm, guy who uh nobody knows your identity as far as I know I barely even know what race you are other than a few shots of your fingers you always wear a paper bag I, I don't think you'll ever truly be in the public eye you don't have to worry about that too much uh, you never yeah, made the yeah, mistake I've... like I did of going on camera with my full face did you ever like I, I don't know if this is gonna I mean you don't have to say it if you don't want I mean but did you ever reveal what your I mean I don't know did you ever reveal your like your full name accidentally or say something like that uh, lots of people have done me the favor of revealing it for me <laughs> out of spite <laughs> and hatred. So, I mean, I guess uh, by making friends with those people uh, in a way, yes, I did reveal my own. Uh, I did dox myself, I guess. I accidentally, like, I've, okay, again, I probably shouldn't be saying this, um, but I have accidentally doxed myself a couple times. Oh, in in but videos it, or what? Not in videos, no, actually, but I've been in other ways, like, I think there was a point where I had, I don't know, it was like a social media account that was like, it had my re real name on it and I had it associated with my YouTube channel. But I don't know, this, it was like so long ago when I was like, had so few subs, and but I caught it soon enough to where like nobody on that was following me on that. I don't remember what account it was or what site it was on, but it's one of those things where it's come close. Like I've accidentally done it. And I, and I know for a fact, like, if I ever were to like go to some kind of convention or something like that and meet up with Tom, Tom would instantly reveal my face because he did that with Mark and with several other people I know. Oh. So I'm, I'm like, Tom, you son of a bitch. Like, if Tom, I, you I, round faced I, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's no, like, I probably what? shouldn't he's think like, of uh, <laughs> poor little Turkey Tom as a man. That probably doesn't reflect too well on me. I, I think you, I think he's a little taller than you, actually. So yeah. <laughs> maybe. Well, what are you gonna do? We we can't wait, all uh, be actually, Chad wait, like, like Turkey Tom. You're like, wait, you're like what? Actually, like five foot two something. I, I yeah, swear yeah. Tom brought it up sometime. Yeah, I'm five two. <laughs> I'm yeah. six one. <laughs> I'm, literally, yeah. you. I just can't like if 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 I ever do go to some convention, we'll have to take a picture. You'll be up to my shoulder. Uh, yeah, I can sit on your shoulders. Yeah. Oh my god. We we could be freak the mighty. The weird. That would be the weirdest juxtaposition. Like the a guy like the youtube nobody and like, like and, and monkey jones and just like have me be bigger I, that'd be the most ironic thing in the world the youtube nobody and the youtube martyr coming together uh, yeah long last. okay we've been going on for about an hour so i want to open up questions to the twitch chat we do this show live at twitch.tv slash monkey jones folks people in the chat if you have any burning hot questions for one just jargon throw them at us right about now jargon in the meantime while we're waiting for the lag to catch up are there any other things you really wanted to say about your channel or really anything at all well uh i had a fiver request five years ago that you never answered or five years a year ago that you never answered so was it because uh i had closed down fiverr at that point or it I was before, ignore? but <laughs> it was before, actually. The request is still waiting. Wow. I thought I closed my account down. <laughs> I, what, what was the yeah, request? That, was it for like like a bumper at the, the end video, of one of your It was for the Elliot Roger video, but I thought that for the sake of closure that I needed to bring that up. But also, if um, if you should need, if Vincent the Atheist should need another sidekick now that the other one is a little bit indisposed, right. um, there is still a request. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, Just, you uh, you tried to sneak your way into the cast of my film. I remember that exactly. Yeah. yeah. All totally, right. Let's see some totally of these legit. these chat questions. Uh, Bacon crafted curtain wants to know what's the deal with the trap shit. You, you like to do trap shit on Twitter, <laughs> I think. Oh, okay. First of all, there there's an account on Twitter called Jargon Trap. Yeah, Everyone he's in the chat I... right now. Oh, he is. Yeah, I saw. Oh, him. hello. Oh, I, 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 oh, he or I she is. I don't know the proper uh, <laughs> pronoun for that one. 
traps are he, I think. But yes, tra- I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, I'm a weirdo. You know, it's like, what'd you expect? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my explanation for that. Is like, this an ironic uh, attraction to traps, or are you like a, a real man like me, and you just accept that traps are hot as fuck? Well, traps fundamentally are not gay. Right. But it's only gay if your balls touch. Um, um, exactly. Yeah. Which is why you know you have to take measures to prevent such a thing but essentially though like you know i i i I, (laughs) my my uh my my philosophy in this in this field is that as long as you you know don't put too much thought into it and you you know you joke about something a lot uh people are gonna ascribe more meaning to it than it really has and that's kind of uh, i guess all i'll say (laughs) i guess i don't know a true ignic Enigma of a man. I can't even fucking talk on my own show. Uh, Dancing <laughs> Duelist, this question will be irrelevant by the time I upload this because uh, I'm doing a different upload schedule for podcasts on my channel. But Dancing Duelist wants to know, Just Jargon, what is the topic of your next video? Oh. Um, is it a secret? Uh, not not really. I actually, it's, I have it in my, it's actually, I have the, I actually finished doing the audio for it just like a half hour ago. Um, or, well, no, I was still, <laughs> No, I've been doing audio editing while I'm in this call. No, um, yeah. I, I did. A, I it was. A, it's a video on underrated channels, actually, because what I'm trying to do is, I want to like. I'm hoping that I didn't wait long enough to where the the all the publicity that I was getting prior is just gonna burn out completely. Because I want like I feel like this is the best time to have a video about like talking about some channels that I really like who don't have very many subscribers, and. Um, it's uh the video is I'm hoping it catches another wave of promotion and at least gets a por- a fraction of the views the other two from the past have gotten. I mean I probably won't, but I, I'm probably a little bit too late on that. But get, the thing is basically just me going through channels I do like, like unironically. You want to share the love? Of, yeah, I mean I the I I'm shoutouts do almost nothing, but there is the point where like, um. Like, I think that, like, because with you, with promoting me, like, with, or with inadvertently getting that video promoted, that did, I think, like, per, like inadvertently, like, make me, like, jumpstart me in the algorithm, I think. Like, so it's one of those things where I don't know if I could do any impact, have any positive impact on people. But, yeah, that's kind of it. Like, I, there's a couple channels I know with, like, I think they have, like, less than 100 um, who I've just kind of encountered or, like, you know, and just stuff like that who I've kind of wanted to talk about just because because they are pretty underrated. Yeah, I would never be worried about uh, making a video like that because it's just the most wholesome content possible. Like, at the end of the day, it's not like you're doing ads for shit that, in like, oh, great, I'm sitting through a 10-minute ad. You're saying, hey, people who like I've to watch... People who like oh, to watch free content. Here's five channels full of free content that you can go check out. Here's more free shit for you to enjoy. And at the same time, you're promoting people who are, you know, lower on the view totem pole who could really use the boost. Um, I will say be careful because the video I was working on right before Susan took me down was uh, top five channels with less than 10,000 subs. That was going to be my next video. And oh, they, I, I think I remember you tweeting about that a yep, long time ago. Yeah, I had like 500 <laughs> replies to that tweet, and I was going through trying to find the best channels of the bunch, and then actually, everything actually, comes crashing down. Actually, I meant to ask you about that, because I remember I got like I got tagged in that tweet a bunch, and I, like, <laughs> was I on the list, just out of curiosity? Like, I mean, it's fine if I wasn't. I'm just sort of curious. I mean, like, Well, I, I didn't finalize the list, but you were, uh, you were in consideration, definitely, because uh, at the time you... I think you had what, like eight thousand subs. Yeah, I think I I don't know when that was. December was when I blew up actually. So it probably I think I hit. I actually I was at like seven thousand. I think. Yeah. Like I posted when January that tweet. I around. think yeah. in uh, the tweet was in like November. I think. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's in, yeah, that's interesting. I, I yeah, that, <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, again, it, it like, didn't I, work out, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I pre, I, but yeah, like I again, like part of this is I don't know maybe. Because here's what I'm kind of worried about. Maybe I'm just too, again, I don't know if I can say this either, but I may, maybe I'm too um, uh, suffering from a particular uh, form of autism where I'm just, <laughs> where all this is just, you know, going over my head and I'm just not seeing, ext- an, uh, you know, next level irony that's, you know, being pulled like right now. But like, oh, you think I'm giving you the nostalgia teen critic treatment? 
<laughs> May, maybe i don't know but i i again most of i was convinced for like i guess think i think four months after that first video blew up that everyone was watching me ironically <laughs> um yeah no you, you can't get you can't get that kind of shit into your head that i mean why would i i ironically watch like the stupid mario brothers channel and uh <laughs> and man I'm always like, oh, you like let's plays that? I, I torture poor sheep over. I'm, I'm always ironically watching all this horrible shit that she hates. Uh, <laughs> I'm always throwing on like fucking uh, Dark Side Phil streams or Wings of Redemption. But no, I don't think anybody's watching you ironically because you watch something ironically when it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of again, I, 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 I can't judge my own videos objectively because I hate them every single time. Yeah, so I just kind of yeah. wonder like, why would someone watch this stuff? And I'm, I'm trying to keep improving, but I just. Like, it's to the point, but I, I know, like, I've written, you know how when you write books and you look back and I'm like, two months later, you'll hate it? Like, or even well, yeah. like a, an hour later? W with anything. That's, every video yeah. I've ever made, I hated too. I talk yeah, about that exactly. in the new one that's coming out on Patreon tonight. Just finished it today. Ooh, nice. Uh, Baron Von Brunk, the king of Legos and buying me VHS copies off of eBay, wants to know, hey, Jargon, what's your honest opinion of Reddit? We know how Turkey Tom feels about Reddit, but what about just Ooh. jargon? Ooh, I've I, I want I've had a video about coming out about that I'm gonna do at some point. It's one of those things I just keep pushing it aside, but it's a video about Reddit reaction channels, and I want I did make a Reddit r slash just jargon that, but I but for the good joke of the video, what I want people to do is I want to ask my 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 all my fans to go to the Reddit. And to go or go to the subreddit and post just the most unfunny, stupid stuff. Not stuff that's like edgy or stuff that's ironically funny or stuff that's unironically funny. Just stuff that's just not funny in any manner whatsoever. <laughs> and then have me make a try to make a Reddit reaction and just be just <laughs> so just deprived for ability to do it. I just have to fake my way through everything. And then the twist is it'll probably be exactly like a normal Reddit reaction channel from a normal Reddit reactor. <laughs> yeah, because nothing's then, fucking funny on Reddit. Yeah, I, the only thing that's been holding me back is the fact that I can't really like, like I want to get light boxes because this like my I swear my room looks like I'm just like filming in like one of those like in, in kind of like a like a sewer like where it's like a cave just like it's like it it's it just like the I swear this is probably like the worst room for lighting ever just. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do want to I want to get that. But other than that, I'll then I'll probably pick up on that video. And if you guys wanted to go and prematurely fill the subreddit, not to self-plug here, but that would legitimately help. I don't know when I'll get to it, but... Oh, no. Heaven forbid you plug a joke subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Baron but... Von Brunk says he's got light boxes for $100 on Amazon. Maybe, ooh, ooh. Uh, maybe he'll send you his. <laughs> I do. I actually did want to like. I don't know who would know this, but I I'm I wanted I want to do. Um, I kind of want to do some. I have this idea for this thing that involves green screening, but I've there are some videos of mine that have a green screen, but as you can probably see from them, the green screen barely works. Mm -hmm. Like my camera is absolutely horrible. But what's mo the worst thing is the lighting. So I'm right. actually trying to figure out a way to get those light boxes so I can do that too. But yeah, like um. It's hard to keyframe out a bright green screen when it's as shadowy as your clothes. <laughs> it's like you got random shit being keyed out all over your face and shirt. I, I did a video on uh, Cool Cat a while ago, and I did. I had to literally, like, I, I had, like, a spotlight on me just so the very outline around me was, was good. Um, but then everything else was just like just a, it looked like it looked like someone had just rubbed sand on the on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was just. Just like yeah, and like I, I had to, I had to cr crop it out. Like I had to do some frame by frame if I was moving quite a lot. But even then, it still looks absolutely horrible because I can't <laughs> get as close. I mean, you know, like I think the video, the video on like on a while, long, long time ago on, I think it was on Tom or the commentary community or something. It was, it was just the worst thing ever. And like the video on you that I on the the Dwayne the let, shout out to open letter to Mumkey. Yeah, that video was just like. I, I tried so hard. I'm, I'm, I tried so hard, but I was too lazy to key out the rest of it to try to, you know, crop out the rest of it. So I just put it up with the worst, the worst green screen stuff possible. But, you know, I think <laughs> yeah, sorry, I had, that was a long uh, tangent, but no, no. Um, I, I think we have one more good question. Uh, fan favorite. He's, he's the fan favorite fan of all monkey fans and just jargon fans, I assume. One animated demon Ooh. would like to know jargon. Oh, yeah. Why am I banned from your shamble of a Discord server? 
Wait, he's banned? I mean, I have to assume so. I've banned Demon I... from every server I've ever had power in, so I, I, I imagine you might be banned well, from maybe, yours, Maybe too. you'll see another depression chamber with his stories about that in it, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but... Have you anonymously submitted to the depression chamber yet? I actually haven't. I've been thinking about it, though. Like, so you might see... I was going to submit... I don't know if it's too late to submit to the E-Rich uh, applications. It no, no, is, it's but... not too late. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I kind of... Will you be re if if I do submit it? Will you read it uh, to everyone? Like, will you read it or uh, live, or do you have to preview them prior? Uh, I've never previewed any depression chamber. I, everything you see is live. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't preview anything. I, have, I I had I did think of something for that, by the way, but oh, I boy. promise it won't get you banned. But it'll it'll I'll try to make it funny. Well, I mean, I can. It's not going to get me banned. I mean, I have control over my own mouth. Most of the time, if you if you, <laughs> if you go off spouting off the n-word in your sad story, I'm sure I can bleep myself yeah, no, out. No, no, not nothing like that, but just something a little bit more. You know, just yeah. it'd be stupid. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. I I didn't want to worry you there. I didn't by like being like, yeah, I had this 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 I this master plan this this to to send something. I don't know. Well, um, I, I think but, um we've we've just hit about time. So jargon, I would like you. To plug all of your shit and tell people what they can find on all these social media platforms, the YouTube, the Twitter, what kind of quality content can they expect if they follow you on these places? Well, um, okay, I have a, I, okay, I have the main channel, uh, which, uh, which uploads everything, hopefully every 10 days, uh, per satirical channel reviews, hopefully most of the time. Uh, I have a second channel that is a dumpster fire <laughs> uh, um, called Just Gibberish. I literally put 10 videos up on it for April Fool's Day. Oh, great. But, <laughs> but um, and then I have, I'm most active on Twitter. Um, and I have a Discord server that is also a dumpster fire. And I, it's a meme because I apparently, I everyone reminds me how I never go in there. I'll try to do that more often. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um Technically speaking, I have also a bunch of other social media that I never use that I just reserve the name under just kind of because. But, yeah, I'm not going to plug those because we'd be here for an hour and it'd be pointless. But most importantly, but, um, everybody should go join this great subreddit that you started, right? Ooh, yeah, r slash just jargon. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm glad my... I'm glad it was a friend of mine who I didn't even think to claim that actually someone else someone else did but I actually before we ended off I actually had one video or one video one question actually to ask you oh perfect and that is um <laughs> I was just gonna say when you tweeted out that that video did you expect that that what what did you think was gonna what did you think about like my channel at that point uh I only watched the one video because I, I think it was the it was channel reviews number one right so everything else yeah, was like, like you know more like a minecraft yeah. let's play or something <laughs> i thought it was yeah yeah i thought it was just like the, one of the greatest uh i guess fan videos i'd ever seen i'd never seen anybody uh, uh i mean i don't know if you're, work if and, you're being ironic but that video was one of them i hate it i hate that video so no much. i'm not being ironic at all i thought it was really great i mean i wouldn't have tweeted it out and encouraged people to watch it if i if i thought it was shit ah uh, yeah <laughs> Well, I mean, I well, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I'm and I'm glad you did because literally, like, again, I had I had um, 94 subscribe or 93 subscribers from that. My sub growth the month before was n I had lost four subscribers <laughs> in April. It was negative four, and I was still uploading just as consistently. By the way, yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is like that was like you it genuinely flipped on the flipped on the switch there and it when you tweeted it out it got promoted um and then you know I actually had an audience watching so I have to really thank you for that because that was you know yeah that was yeah when people <laughs> make quality stuff especially when it's about me uh I feel obligated <laughs> to tweet it out so don't thank me oh, and, it was obligation and by the way I will one uh one other thing um if there you can maybe expect like if you if technically speaking in about uh almost like about almost two weeks like it'll be i think the actually one year since that video came out and if um and you can expect there to be something on the channel pertaining to something like that around that time around on the first hopefully if i can get it done 
uh, that will be quite interesting. Oh by the way. boy, yeah, I I can't wait for uh, with the rise, fall, and decay, unironically of Monkey Jones. <laughs> Uh, when you were talking about uh, how your friend snagged up the Just Jargon subreddit, that reminded me that r slash uh, <laughs> endless Jess is owned by Bedhead Bernie. And, and the top post is from Bedhead Bernie saying, I am stepping down as the owner of the endless Jess subreddit. <laughs> you know what I did? Funny. <laughs> I, I snagged the at Filthy Frank, the TV Filthy Frank 2 Twitter. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck that I'm, guy. I'm saving it for the guy because I actually, I actually am gonna maybe do something with him. I don't know, but no, like, that guy's a leech. Um, don't, don't, yeah. don't you dare encourage that leech. He needs to find his own path. If you ask me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's, I never watched it. I'm I just still... saw a screenshot and I got mad. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, but you know, like. With, but I'm, I'm, oh, and by the way, one other thing I also want to say, I just, I remembered this about a week ago, and that's that, um, remember, you know how, like, your video, like, I was trying to, in the video about you, it was, you know, just Jargon's channel reviews and all that, it was, yeah. like, Monkey's anime reviews, well, I had this, it, it was one of those painful recollections that sort of just came to you, and I was like, I was like, you know, I could probably avoid half the Monkey plagiarism comments if I just changed that name to, to not the same format. But I'm like, wait, why did I do that in the first place? And then I remembered, you see, part of the whole joke with the ver first video was I was trying to mimic the format too, which included the title, but then I forgot to change it and never <laughs> changed it back. I have no idea what it was going to be in the first place, what the original channel review title extension was going to be, and it just was your thing the entire time, so I'm going to change that now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, wow. I'm sorry about that. I don't give uh, a fuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, do you, have, uh, do you have any final thoughts before we say goodbye and uh, I tell everybody to go down to the description to find all of Just Jargon's work online? Um... Subscribe to Ellis Mark because he can't get enough subscribers on his own. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't he doing great? Every video he makes gets recommended to me. He's getting fucking 50,000 views in a day. I don't think he yep. needs the yep. shout out. Yep. That's that's why. Motherfucker. Yep. He just... what, what is he, Australian or something? I don't need to hear this fucking uh, He's made accent. 15 videos. He's made like 15 videos and they all get promoted. He's, he can keep getting promoted if he just makes more videos. It eats me up inside every day. Yeah, what a nightmare! Oh, man. All right, LS Mark and Turkey Tom, you guys are on my hit list. We'll yeah. get we'll get you fuckers on here to drop the scoop on Just Jargon's secret hypocrisy and racism. I can't wait. Well, we're, we're gonna get on drama so. alert from this podcast. I can feel it. I can give you a, a time a video uh, a timestamp when I said the n word in a video once though, so you already I'll get you started. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, me too. Go watch. Uh, I guess my One Piece review. Go watch the uh, top ten anime waifus. Uh, uh, or I guess hire me on oh, Fiverr. Yeah, I got good. a lot of those. Uh, I did have a guy calling like unironically saying I was racist for saying the n word and like uh, like like he pulled up a screenshot of this this. This it was, I call it the punishment poll. What should I do for making shit content? And then it was a long list of punishments and say the N-word was one of them. And he said that because that was there, oh. that I was racist. I'm like, the, you know, the word punishment implies that I don't think it's a good thing, right? That was the one where you uh, ended up uh, having to do all of them, right? You had oh, to do all actually, the punishments. I guess I, huh. I actually don't know if I, well, actually, I don't know. No, that was the January 1st. I've done more than one punishment poll, actually. I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Cause I remember one of them. You like you punished yourself with all of them, and you had to like go on Omegle and do all this embarrassing shit. Oh, that was yeah. That was a yeah. That was a thing before that. I had to people commenting. I'm I'm impressed you saw that video because nobody has seen it, and I actually kind of like that. I'm telling uh, you, I've like, seen all of your videos. I just. I, oh man. Oh, it's. You're melting my heart here, man. You're, <laughs> well, you're melting my cold, cynical, edgy heart. Before we melt too much, let, we should say goodbye, folks. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry it wasn't Drake Bell once again. I swear to God, he will be the next guest, or else I'll just cancel this show outright, and you'll never see it again in your YouTube subscription box. But uh, <laughs> for the Monkey Jonas show, I've been Monkey Jonas, joined today by one paper bag head just jargon. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just jargoning. Yeah. yeah. See you next time. And I guess uh, serenade us out with the Drake and Josh theme song. Me? Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs>
I don't even know how it goes. I never in. thought that it'd be, it'd be so, so simple, simple, but I found, I found a, a way. way. I found a way. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop uh, the recording. All right, cool. And, yeah, everybody, thanks for tuning into the stream. Um, I don't know if we have anything else to do on this stream. Jargon, you want to say anything off the record to all of these fine people at home? Hmm. Uh, well, uh, I could. I have a list of channels I don't like. I could read that off. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, Daft Pina, Ellis Mark, <laughs> Turkey Tom, Internet Historian, Monkey Joe. Right. Oh wait, no, he's not a YouTuber anymore. Okay. No, no, that's uh, that's all hail Chancellor Susan. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's your vote on uh? Now that I'm taking that channel seriously again. Should I change the name or should I just uh, rebrand as All Hail Chancellor Susan? I was actually gonna, I was actually gonna say like, why don't you like? I think um, this this is kind of a little bit different than that. But why don't you make a, like another channel and try to like slowly get it monetized, and so you can post stuff separately? Well, because I already have the the one monetized channel with uh, fifty thousand subs. Like, you know, why? Uh, yeah, true, why, yeah. Why make a new channel? We got one. I just don't know yeah, if I, I should guess, rename yeah. it or not. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, it seems to, your your approach seems to be working. I I think if you did rename it, it would. I think anything that could raise like I, I'm that raise attention of YouTube would be risky. Like that's one of the reasons why. Like, you might remember I was gonna make a video about you. You know, like about your channel thing about your situation uh, a few months ago, uh, but I actually didn't because uh, first of all, when I was playing it, I was gonna talk about the Jungle Jimmy channel, but then that got deleted. But then I didn't want to make another one because I was like, okay. I, I mean, I don't, I have zero reach, but I was like, I don't want to, if, if, if raising attention to the last remaining channel you have is at any risk of getting it deleted, then I'm, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that because, and needless to say, a lot of people, a lot bigger than me were trying as hard as they could to get, to get you, um, get you reinstated. And it right. just, you know, yeah. Even I, PewDiePie himself had no power. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just, yeah, I, if you if you could have like gone back, I mean, you probably just deleted, probably just deleted all the Elliot Roger videos. I just, mean, I fucking like, did. I privated the entire channel, and then they just kept doing it. I know. I thought yeah. I did oh, everything God. I could. I guess I should have just outright deleted everything because I had no idea what they were gonna hit next. I didn't think they would strike me for privated fucking videos. What was I supposed to do? Oh, funny thing. When I told, remember I, when I told you that all of my video that I had like ten videos get demonetized all at once. Yeah, yeah. They were like all unlisted with zero views. <laughs> These fucking people. Yeah, like I get a I, hobby. Yeah, <laughs> I've had I've had probably in total about a third. I think I have like three hundred to four. I maybe no, like maybe like four hundred to five hundred videos in the backlog, or privated. And like I swear, I think a third of them have gotten demonetized at some point. <laughs> There's only one that I haven't gotten appealed, and it's the video on ER that just was permanent. Or no, there's like no, there's like three that I haven't gotten appealed that that have been confirmed for by manual review. One of which was a was a parody video that people mistook uh, mistook for a reupload of the from the original channel. <laughs> oh, was that the Quentin reviews thing? Oh no! Um, it was the. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure. Did you do a thing about Quentin Reviews uh, T series thing? Cause I, was that you or was that somebody else? I'm thinking of. Uh, I did a video. Oh no, that I that was me. I did a video about that, and that was one of the serious videos I made. That I I just am like I didn't want to make that. Oh, no, funny I, thing, it was really Quentin useful because. Me. Oh well, I was gonna say Quentin. Uh, um, he would. Yeah. He would take down people who would re-upload it. So the only way I could even see that video was you your commentary video about it. Yeah, are we actually wait? Are we still live? Or and, and people are still watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still on Twitch. Okay. Well, I mean, if if you like, there's a little bit of a secret. I don't. It, it makes no bearing now, but it's one of those things. I didn't say it because it was. It kind of was a conflict of uh, conflict of interest at the time. But I owned one of the channels that are that act uploaded the video. I know that's going to sound like it's a weird conspiracy theory, but here's the thing. One of the, I have, wait, you owned one of the channels that uploaded I own an. I had a channel that was called, it was an archive channel that I put up lost videos from people. And the reason I had it is because, again, I, I, will re, I like to save everything that I download for YouTube videos to make videos. And stuff will go missing occasionally. And I've made videos like talking, like in the Google Plus video, I was talking about how I like archiving, how it's like, I think it's, it's really, you know, I, I appreciate that the people who do it. 
so uh, I made an archive channel to try to put up uh, things to try to put up things that would go missing. Um, but then Quentin struck me, struck the channel, and then mm. it got one strike. But then it got deleted because I got two more strikes for re-uploading your videos. <laughs> what? Wait, what videos of mine got you strikes? Okay, okay. Here's the weirdest. Th okay, yeah, the video that got struck. All right, I have physical proof that YouTube was that YouTube found that channel of mine, thought it was yours, and went out to actively delete it. Uh oh. And here's how I know that because the videos that got struck, the video it was I had a video struck for um for for spam. All right, it was it was flagged it was flagged by manual review. Um, and it had, tw and it was unlisted with yeah. zero views, about to go public. But then somehow, out of nowhere, it got 28 views while being unlisted Oof. with no links to it anywhere. Uh oh, what was the it video? It was of? scary. It was, it was your, it was the lore compilation. Oh okay. <laughs> and it was like I had like, again, like one of the things I think you should do is I, I again being an archiving nut myself, I really want to see all your videos go back up because they're like. The Psy tries to get Mumkey into. I love those videos so much. Oh, God. Like, it's going to be a long time before I even bother putting those on the website. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, like, the thing you could do technically, though, is, like, um, if you wanted, um, like, if you wanted to sort of, you know, if you didn't want to bother with it and just sort of want to turn it over to everyone else to get the videos out there, if you if you cared enough, I guess, would be to, you. there's a site called, like, archive.org, which is, you know, it's tied, it's part of the Wayback Machine where you can do a file upload and it will upload like a big folder full of videos that then people can do with what they will. Yeah, that's how um, uh, all of my Let's Play channel videos survived. Somebody made an archive of every single Let's Play. So I've just been yeah, uh, yeah. taking from that because I didn't save them myself for the, uh, some yeah, of the re-uploads. Yeah, and I, I, I did save a few things because there were videos of, that I made. The videos I made on you actually kind of helped because I, I think I saved like – what. Um, I don't know how much stuff you, the stuff you have, but I actually was grabbing your videos from the channel when you were giving the status updates about it being deleted. And that's part of the reason they might have thought it was your channel because I was posting the status updates on the archive channel and then adjusting the links in the description so people would be redirected to your mm, new channels. Yeah. And but so, but, but having videos saying, this is my original, this is my new channel now. Even though I put in the in the title parentheses not owned by Mumkey or whatever, and this is not me. <laughs> That's exactly and, what Mumkey would say. Yeah, but funny enough, actually, uh, the channel a channel then archived my reupload of that video, <laughs> and it's got the same name. It's called Reupload. I'm not Mumkey still because they just put in the default name. Oh, and that the video is still, still up to this day. Oh, that's but, funny. Yeah, so the channel got three strikes and got deleted, and I was just sort of pissed off because it was like, again, and I even deleted all the videos relating to you, but then they they went and striked something else right after that first strike, um, and Quentin, because of Quentin's strike, I couldn't get my account back. This is absolute and, madness. Targeted <laughs> harassment by YouTube. Yeah, that, that poor archive channel that had, what, 3K, I think? <laughs> Shit, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, I, I did have a few videos go viral on it, actually. One video, I think, got uh, 50,000 views, I think. Well, so I, I, think, I think the, the JonTron Lost Videos channel has has more videos this year than JonTron himself. He loses <laughs> more than he makes. Well, actually, JonTron's been, like, monthly uploads, but, you know, monthly. even so... Like I mean, that's a freak. Like maybe like that's a that's an anomaly of nature right there. To the point where it's you can't even essentially call him John Tron. So you might as well just give the credit over to John Tron Archive because no way John Tron is uploading a no. video every month. Okay, oh, um, I've got to go to the bathroom, so I think we should just call it a stream. Everybody, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, go check out Jargon stuff, just Jargon on YouTube, and uh, go post some h hilarious, funny stuff in r uh, slash. Uh, just jargon on no, uh, Reddit, right? post some really unfunny stuff don't post hilarious stuff because then the video might actually be might actually be yeah. an unironic uh, uh all right yeah. jar jargon trap you go ahead and uh, go meet jargon in the twitter dms i'm sure he's uh anxiously <laughs> waiting for you and uh bye <laughs> bye